Hey, what is going on guys? Back with another video for you. Today, we're gonna go over how to do DTF on your X2 printer. First, we're gonna put our image in turbo rip and check the two film option located here. Once we have the size and position that we would like, we're gonna move to the next step and that's adding a white underbase. For this particular image, you can see that we have this black border, this black background. When printing DTF, it's gonna pick up on this. So we're gonna hit select color and then we're gonna drag that color tolerance higher and higher to remove all the black from the image. With all of the black removed, we're gonna go ahead, move up to resolution and change it from eight pass to four pass. And we'll drop the brightness down to negative 20. Generally, 8 pass is good enough, but if you want, you can try 16 to get a better color and detail result. Please note, if you're going to use 16 pass, maybe add a 15 to 20 second dry time in between your color and white layer on your printer. And now we're ready to print. When securing your film down, tape is an option, but I like to use a couple drops of water. You can also do a spray of isopropyl alcohol. When placing the film down, make sure to put the matte side facing up. Don't forget to adjust your table height now that we're printing on film and not a garment. Now we'll begin our print. Once the print is finished, we're going to gently pick up the film and take it to the area where we're going to be using the powder. When we're ready, we're going to gently apply powder to the film. I find it easiest to use a large bin to catch all the excess powder that falls so we can replace it into our bottle. We're gonna wanna move the powder from side to side on the film to make sure every piece of ink is covered and coated with the powder. Recoat any area that might need a little more powder. And release the excess into the bin. Make sure you properly shake and tap to get all the loose and excess powder that's hanging around on the film off. Now it's time to melt the powder. You're gonna wanna hover the heat press above the film and not make any contact. Every manufacturer has a different recommended setting or melting point for their powder, 
so be sure to read the instructions for yours. If you're using the sample powder provided by us, go ahead and use it at 3.30 for a minute and a half to two and a half minutes. Once cured, we'll place our t-shirt down with our film on top with the adhesive and the matte side facing down. Let's place the craft paper on top and firmly press for 15 to 20 seconds. Depending on the film you have is going to depict on when we can peel the film. If it's a hot peel, you can go ahead and peel right away. If it's a cold peel, we're going to want it to cool down before we take it off. Once the film has cooled, we can then pull off the film. Gently raise the film, try not to pull too fast. Finally, we'll take it back to the heat press, put some craft paper on top, and press it one more time for about five seconds to get those edges back down. And that is how you print DTF with your X2 printer. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Don't forget to shake those whites. We'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.